Hi, Hi guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome to, to NYC. NYC. And tonight we've really got a treat for you because we're going to figure 19. That's right. It's episode 19 and we're going to figure 19. And we've been trying to go to figure 19 for, I'm not going to make the 19th month, 19 month joke, but it's, feel, it's felt like about that long. Yeah, and I'm really glad we're going tonight because I'm sick and tired of him saying, let's go to figure 19 tonight. Well, I, I mean, it is going to be super cool. I mean, so get this, it's a speakeasy. You're probably not surprised about that, but it's a speakeasy that is um, located hidden in back of an art gallery. So you walk in, go through this art gallery, and then apparently there's a hidden door um, somewhere in this art gallery that leads you into a speakeasy. So, I mean, pretty damn cool if I, if I do say so myself. They do the pretty um, latte art. It looks like that. But it's a cocktail. All right, here we go. Mm. Kind of tastes like a tastes like a holiday drink. There's a little bit of sour. There's a little bit of all the flavors are delicious. I'm, I'm enjoying it. We are here at Figure 19. It's a little noisy. You might not be able to hear me, but I'm going to lean in so you hear me. I'm having the Night Moves. Named after the Bob Seger album, perhaps. That's my guess. And it has a rum, mezcal, lime mint, so it's a very light drink. It's a good first drink. Get to have yourself later. So here's my first sip. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's good. It's, it's not too um, too smoky. It's nice, refreshing citrus. Just a little bit of smoke on the end. Delicious. Hi guys. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. The bathroom clip. Uh, we are. He I'm very excited because we're here at Figure 19, and I've been wanting to go here now for months and months. But we we've never made it until now, and it's super cool. I mean, it's in the, it's in the back of an art gallery. It's hidden in an art gallery. I mean, how, you can't really beat that in terms of cool factor. And it's so hidden that you would absolutely never um, know there was a speakeasy here unless you knew about it ahead of time. I mean, the outside is just basically, it is an actual art gallery. You would never think to stop and go in unless you knew what to look for. Um, which, so it's, it's definitely a true speakeasy. Yeah, compared to some of the ones we've gone to in the last few episodes that have been um, kind of on the cusp. But uh, check out this bathroom. Uh, the coolest thing, it's pretty an ordinary bathroom, the cool thing is there is a massive chandelier in here. It's literally up to my head. Like that's how big it is. It starts up there, comes all the way down. That's me with the camera. Yep, that's me. 
and literally my head, it comes down to my head. Now, I don't know about you, but I call that a pretty damn impressive chandelier. Um, so anyway, we're having a great time here. The drinks are great. Uh, we only had one round so far because we've been talking. I'm gonna get another round in a second when I go back out, so more to come. Hey, they turn off the lights out here. Guess it's our bunch of All right, everybody. So we're back after another successful <laughs> night. I feel like I've all heard that all, before. It was a great night. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I feel like you're you're getting that those. I feel like you're plagiarizing someone, but I'm not not quite sure who. Me neither. Uh, so anyway, it was a great night. I, Mike and I both decided I picked the best drink, so my drinks actually were very tasty. I agree. My first one had, well, I told you about the first one, so I'll spare you the details, but my second one was a lavender and elderflower uh, vodka drink, and mm. it was really delicious. It so was. Mike likes that one himself, and it reminded me of a wedding that we went to of our very dear friends, Lindsay and John. Mm -hmm. Lindsay's specialty drink was a lavender, and it kind of reminded me of that. It was so tasty. Mm. So, um, yeah, it kind of brought me back and really enjoyed the night. The The venue itself is, is so... Um, it's just, I, I really, really enjoyed walking through the art gallery to get there. That, to me, was such a such a cool thing. And it was the first speakeasy of its kind that I'd been to where you have to walk in to an art gallery. Yes, yeah, sure, there have been other ones where you walk into a laundromat or whatever it happens to be. But this one really kind of, it sets the stage, you know. It is a classy establishment, and um, typically art galleries are that way. So, it was neat. My, uh... Second drink, just to mention that, too, was also, I got two that were mezcal based, no surprise there. Um, and very, they were both very citrusy, which I, I liked, um, and with a little bit of smokiness, which was good, but um, I also realized that now that I'm um, 30, I get heartburn from these citrusy drinks, so <clears throat> I'll, I'll remember that for next time. So maybe maybe that wasn't the best decision, but I still enjoyed them. But the place itself had a kind of interesting vibe. There was, um, there were really uh, like nice chandeliers, um, very like dark, kind of comfortable, romantic. Um, and then there were just some weird things. There's like a big kind of like pig's head um, on the shelf. There was like all kind of windshield art, like, like ships and bottles, really kind of um, unique vibe for sure. Um, even the chandelier, even the bathroom had a massive chandelier, which was kind of funny. Um, mm -hmm. And um, it was nice. I mean, it was a little uh, louder than I would have expected for a speakeasy, but we still had a great time. We sat, we were there for like three hours, even though we thought we were gonna go for a quick couple of drinks. Once we were there and started talking, had to enjoy the drinks, we, we, we spent a lot of time there. So we had a great night, as always. Um, I don't think we've had a bad night yet doing these NYCs, um, and that's saying something after almost 20 episodes here, so, um, thanks for joining us, and we will see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye, guys.